In this video, we'll talk about converting between uh, logarithmic and exponential equations um, and solving some simple logarithmic equations. So uh, this, you, this should be uh, familiar. I showed this in a previous video. But uh, basically, if you're going to convert between these two forms, uh, the way I was taught to do this when I was in school was just like, OK, there's where those letters go in each form. So like just kind of look at it and put the letters where they go. And that was it. And I, I found this very difficult because as I was learning it, like first of all, the concept itself was difficult enough. And then I was asked to rewrite these into these different forms that look very different. Uh, and and so I, I didn't really know how to like reconcile that. I could, it was difficult for me to, to process it all at once. Um, and it actually wasn't until recently that I stumbled upon this, this trick that it's called the logarithm loop trick. And I think this is a very overpowered trick. It really helps a lot. Uh, if there's one thing that you, I would like really, it'd be great if you remembered this going into future math classes. Um, and it, it can really help you with, with converting from one form to the next. So let's look at what the logarithm loop trick is. So here we have log base B of N equals P. So um, in this case here, N is the argument of the logarithm b is the base and then p is what the answer is okay it's it b to the power of p gives me n or b to what power do I have to raise b to to get n well i have to raise it to the p power and so how how would we rewrite that in an exponential form well here's what the loop trick is okay the loop trick says draw a loop on this and you're going to start drawing your loop at the base okay so you're going to start at the base and you're going to draw that loop in the direction of the equal sign so it's going around the equal sign, and then it's going to circle back, and it's going to hit the next thing. And so if we think about what the what what letters this loop crossed or passed by, in which order, we can see that the first thing that it passed by, it started at, it was the base. The second thing was the answer over here, and the third thing was the argument. So if we're going to write that, rewrite that in exponential form, we're going to write the first thing, which was the base, to the power of the second thing, which was the, the answer, and equals the third thing, which is n. So uh, that's really what it is. Now, it's very important to know that we have to always go in the direction of the equal sign here. And what's also super cool about the logarithm loop trick is that we can uh, we can apply it the other way too. So so let's do it that way. If we went if we did the loop trick, we'd start at the base, we go in the direction of the equal sign, and we end up at the last thing. And so the numbers that the, the things that we cross by, we pass by on the process of doing this was the base, that's number one. The answer over here was, was two, and then the power, which is three. And if we wanted to go backwards, if we're going from an exponential to a logarithm, then we'd say, all right, the first thing we're going to write, we're going to write log, and then the first thing that it passed by, which was the base, the second thing that it passed by, so log base b of n equals p. And this might seem insignificant, but it's a great way, instead of having to memorize where the letters go, you can just do this trick every time and write it out in the order that it shows you. And so just to emphasize that it's important to go in the direction of the equal sign, if I wrote us, if I wrote just any logarithm here, like I say log base 2 of 4 equals 2, or let's actually do that backwards, so 2 equals uh, log base 2 of 4, right? Um, if I did this, if I did the loop trick here where I went like, 2 to the 4th power equals, like, that's not right, right? 2 to the 4th power does not equal 2, okay? So you have to go in the direction of the equal sign. We would go 2 to the 2nd power equals 4. So this would be, you know, the things we pass by, right? 1, 2, and 3. This would be 2 squared equals 4. And again, you can do that same same deal here. So a loop trick. Sometimes it's really nice to do a sound effect when you do the loop trick, so you go... And then it's 2 to the, uh, so 2, I screwed something up here, um, log, sorry, log base 2, right, log base 2 of 2 equals, sorry, my bad, I, I wrote that completely wrong, log base 2 of 4 equals 2. That's not a negative 4, it's just an artifact. Okay, so let's apply the loop trick now to some problems like we're going to have I'm going to give you one form of the thing and I want you to do the loop trick to convert to another form. Okay, so here we're given exponential form 2 to the third power equals 8. Yeah, of course it does, right? But how do we write that as a logarithm? 
So it would be, be the loop trig. Go yink. So we then get, we're going to write it's log base 2 of 8 equals 3. Right? If we think about the things we passed by, it's 1, 2, 3. So we write it as 1, 2, and 3. Here we can do with this other, we can do it for this one too. It's just the same thing. So 10, yink, right? So we start at the base, go in the direction of the equal sign, and we end up like that. So we're going to write what that is. We had 10 to the negative first power is equal to 0 0.1. does, right? That's 10 to the negative first thing, uh, same thing as 1 over 10. So that's 0 0.1, right? Do it this way. Uh, for this next one, 1 third around the 9 to the negative 2. So the first thing we write log, and then we write the base of one third of nine equals negative two. What power do I have to raise one third to to get to nine? I have to raise one third to the negative second power to get to be nine. And then the last one here, you go yink. So we have the first thing we wrote was one half. So we're going two in exponential. So one half to the third power equals one eighth. Of course it does, right? That's one cubed over two cubed. One cubed is one, two cubed is eight. So this can be useful if we're given an, an equation with an unknown in it. So let's go and try to see if we can determine what these things are. So uh, let's do the loop trick. So five, we will go like this. This would be five to the second power equals x. So x in this case is 25. That's nice. All right, do this one, next one. 10 cubed is w. Okay, so uh, let me put it back. 10 to the third power equals w. Oh, great. w is 1,000. Okay, 10 to the third power is 1,000. So uh, we can do this loop trick to convert from one form to the next. In fact, converting from one form to the next, the primary reason we usually want to do that is to solve for an unknown. Uh, let's look at a couple more examples here. Okay, log base 8 of z is equal to 5 thirds. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go, um, we are going to do the loop trick. Yink. So it's 8 to the 5 thirds power is equal to z. Okay, 8 to the 5 thirds power, like this sort of sucks. But let's see, what, what can we do here? We, we've actually sort of dealt with these kind of problems before when we did exponents. So I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the third power. That's now to the 5 thirds. That equals z. Oh, look, powers of powers we multiply a power. So 3 times 5 thirds, that's just 2 to the fifth. So z is going to be 2 to the fifth z is just 32. Same similar situation for this problem here. 4 to the 3 halves is going to equal m. I kind of am ahead of myself here, right? Loop trick says 4 to the 3 halves power equals m. So I got to figure out what is 4 to the 3 halves. Well, 4 has a base of 2 also, so I can rewrite that as 2 squared to the 3 halves is equal to m. Powers of powers, we multiply powers. So that's just going to be 2 cubed equals m. So m equals 8. Okay, so here's one, uh, log base 3 of the square root of 3. So 3 to what power to give me the square root of 3? Well, we know that the square root of 3 is equal to 3 to the 1 half power. So 3 to what power gives me 3 to the 1 half power? The 1 half, the 1 half power. Uh, next one, 5 to what power gives me 1 to the 5th? Remember, negative exponents give me this. Uh, they give me the 1 fifth. They give me the reciprocals like that, right? So... Uh, 5 to what power gives me 5 to the negative first power? The negative first power. Similar looking problem here, but significantly more difficult. Uh, we have to somehow figure out what power we have to raise 1 fourth to in order to get to the 4th root of 32 all over 2. Uh, that seems weird to me. So maybe what we could do, because we're mathematicians, and anytime we want to do this, we can. If we have an expression, we can just set that equal to something that we don't know. Um, you know, so we set that expression, that logarithmic expression equal to x. And now we're going to try to solve this for x. And when we do, that will be the answer. That will be what the, uh, the expression would evaluate to. So let's do the loop trick here. Yink. So we have, what we have now is one fourth to the x power is equal to this whole thing, the fourth root of 32 divided by 2. So still this isn't very good, right? I have very just different looking bases here. I'm going to attempt to do a same base that the exponent is equal. So let's start if we can simplify the thing on the right. So the fourth root of 32 divided by 2, that's the same thing. Uh, sorry, that doesn't look like a fourth root. Oof. 
have let me redo that the fourth root of 32 divided by 2 that's the same thing as the fourth root of 2 to the fifth power divided by 2 fourth root of 2 to the fifth power is the same thing as 2 times the fourth root of 5 uh, of 2 sorry divided by 2 so those twos can cancel out so I'm looking at the fourth root of 2 and the fourth root of 2 is the same thing as 2 to the 1 fourth power okay let's see if that helps us now so now we're dealing with 1 fourth to the x is equal to 2 to the 1 fourth well 1 fourth and 2 are not the same but they're they're easy enough that I can convert I can ver convert one to the other in fact it's quite easy for me to convert the 1 fourth into a base 2 because I know that 2 to the negative second power is 1 fourth right if you take 2 to the negative second power that's 0.25 1 fourth and that's being raised to the x power that equals 2 to the 1 fourth and so powers of powers we multiply powers so 2 to the negative 2x is equal to 2 to the 1 fourth well then negative 2x because I have the same base I can set the exponent equal x would be negative 1 eighth so so that was a and this, this then this expression evaluates to negative 1 eighth it's not that x equals negative 1 eighth it's that the expression evaluates to negative 1 eighth okay this next one is saying I'm gonna raise 10 to log base 10 to 7th power so if you just look at this exponent here it says 10 to what power gives me 7 I don't know but I know if I raise 10 to that power then I will get 7 like that's what it says let's do let's do uh, set this equal to, to x again or another letter let's say y and I want to solve this for y we do the loop trick here Yink. we can write this out we say log base 10 of y is equal to log base 10 of 7 so if I have log base 10 of y equals log base 10 of 7 the only way that this could ever work is if y was equal to 7 and so it is the answer to this is just 7 uh, but like you can think of it as what is a logarithm what is it saying well, this top part is saying the this is this log base 10 of 7 is the power that I have to raise 10 to in order to get to 7 so if I raise 10 to that power, I will get 7. That's what a logarithm is.